to expect this joke, this joke, this joke. This joke. Freedom. Yes, sir. The Don. The Don. Daryl Don. Cordioni. Don Cordioni. <laughs> We're on our way to the church right now. I think Sala, the Legion Killers JR is already there. And uh, C40, the Brody. I knew you were about to say that. <laughs> I mean, he's on his way here. <laughs> and the Gilda Mish Mesh, you're not a mess. Strap with a vest. Strap, strap, strap. He should already be on his way or something of the sort, but we gonna do what we do no matter who. We're gonna drive off in these bushes for a while though. <laughs>
It says, in order for the power of God to cause something that God has promised you to be manifest in the natural realm, you must speak or confess his word and agree with God. Then God will back you up. So basically, it's saying like, <clears throat> if it's in God's will, and it's something that you want, you have to confess it. But it has to be in his will before you actually before it manifests. Because you can ask for a, a car and not need it. And in order for it to manifest in a natural world, you know, like you say, I want a car, God's not going to drop it out the air. He's going to manifest to where you can get a job or you can meet somebody that can help you get a car. That's the way that works. So don't ever think that you can just, you know, get something by poop saying, I want to, I'm confessing to God, please give it to me right now. It's not going to happen like that. He's going to put it in line so that you can get it. But you have to confess and believe it first, and it has to be in his will. to have a full family, but a lot of things in my life has caused me to be a loner and be an outsider, even though I've had a dad and a mom, very troubling hardships through the family, parents always fighting, brother always gone, but the reason why I crump is because it makes me feel like I'm a person, it makes me feel like I'm me, and it gives me a chance to control everything in me, and that's the reason why I crump. And mainly because of my grandma died in 2006, the only thing I had truly close to me. I didn't think I was worth something. And she gave this to me when I was a kid. Everything together, so you don't know what I'm 
forgive y'all when not. So, but the reason why I dance, pretty much just self-expression, you know, very creative in other fields, but I feel like dancing is my outlet where I can lose myself and be one with, you know, something that fills the void or something else that doesn't. So, the reason why I dance is outlet frustration, even though I might go through life or something like that, but I want to, I feel like when I dance, I feel free that you know, no one can tell me that I'm wrong or nothing like that, but that's the reason why I dance and whatnot, man.
Uh, another reason why I do it is for my grandma. Uh, Make sure rest in peace. She, uh, she always encouraged me to dance, and she was always telling me, you know, every time I came over, she always telling her friends that I dance. Uh, my grandson danced, you know, and she always had me dance with her. And uh, even though she's not here, I still feel as though she's sitting out in these pews watching me or working red. She's sitting down, she's watching me, she's smiling, she's happy because she knows I'm happy. Whenever I'm in that, they stay to mind no matter what character I am. So uh, I don't crump for just myself. I crump for the takes. I crump for her. Uh, I crump for my family, my church, everybody. Because uh, that's who I'm representing at the end of the day. So uh, I hope y'all enjoy my footage. Uh, myself um a my character is character is being uncharacteristic okay i say that because there are so many corporates who are focused on just you know being very good or you know being special at like one particular style so now that i'm gonna start focusing on you know being able to balance out between different styles i mean you might see me be cocky um you might see me be you know you know powerful you know you might see me do some of the, the free moves which is really corny moves and stuff like that but you know that's just cheap imitations stuff like that oh you know, god stuff i can normally buy at the dollar store oh i can just go off a bum and get one of these hey hold up so, brother. you know hold up, brother he just man, know, he just see this man you know but it don't matter this is my name you feel me texas elite what do you man, i'm out of here bro j tech anyways here, like bro. i said <laughs> solid style is more that would speak to you you know what I'm saying? Just have a, like a really, really added, a really brolic attitude, as you guys would say. Um, Lil Raven is more of like an artist. He wants to create different kinds of images for you. You know, is really kind of cocky. You know, full of himself. But I mean, at the very least, like you'll feel him. Um, the Espada style is morally just uh, there are not too many crumpers that you know that can like have. Diverse musicality, you know, like they, that's like really good crop music, you know, even with their soul tracks and stuff like that. But, you know, you try and diversify from, you know, soul tracks to crump tracks, you know, dubstep tracks, you know, even rock sometimes, or you know, R and B and stuff like that. So I mean, the Spotify style, you'll see a lot of different music. Um, or if you see me dancing to, you know, a crump track, I'll be more focused on the music and you know the element that I'm focused that I'm in right then and there, more or less than the, the, uh, the words. Um, Legion Kill. I mean, what more do I say? Need to say about that? Junior Legion Killer, you know, he's just just vanquishing any kind of legion. Legions can be hordes of demons, groups, negative groups, you know, cocky groups. I mean, it could be an example of you know, just say I'm in a crew and they're just a bunch of people who are being negative. You know, okay, well I would go after all those people. that's killing legions. You know what I'm saying? Legions bring the morale of Crump or any environment or society down. So, of course, that's Junior Legion Killer for you. You'll see him when, you know, the situation is obvious and it needs to be focused on um, what he said. Anyways, but um, the reason I crop um, is honestly because at one point I was a breaker and then I messed up my knee. And I was looking for an outlet. Um, like I was a popper too, you know. I, I'm not gonna lie, I do like a lot of styles. Like I know you hear people say that, but I honestly do like a lot of styles of you know dancing. But um, it just crump was a really good outlet for me, and like it it helps you know just release a lot of energy because in popping you know you're so focused on you know being cool and smooth you don't really let off a lot of energy you know you don't you know you can't tire yourself out you know. You can't see anybody just like like losing their mind while popping to you know cool R and B track. You know what I'm saying? But like you in breaking, you know it takes like your whole body, you know a whole format. You know you have to be on the ground. That takes muscles and stuff like that. You know, not that any other dance you know doesn't take muscle, but I mean it takes a, a lot of energy. That's why you only see them dance for like 30 to 40 seconds or maybe even a minute. 
but it crumping, like, I mean, you can actually, you know, have an ex exhilarated emotion, you know what I'm saying, whether you're upset, happy, you know, feeling, you know, down, or just, or sick, at the very least, you know, it's easy to communicate, you know, you know, what I feel in crump across the people, and so, I mean, and then on top of that, even more importantly, is, I mean, it's, it's a one style of dance that I can honestly say that I can really, really connect to God through, so, I mean, that's, it's not the cherry on top, that's like a giant cherry on top, so, I mean, it's always good, so, I mean, um, it's me, Siler, the Aspada, a.k.a. Lil Raven, a.k.a. Junior Leader Killer. <laughs>
Texas as a whole, man, because I love Texas. And, you know what I'm saying, I just want to bring this up because we're a real forgotten, we're a forgotten state. And we're in Dallas for sure, a forgotten city. So I want to bring up Texas and Dallas as a whole. Um, and I'm a family man, I love my family. Uh, I have three handsome little sons, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I have a beautiful wife. We don't get along, sometimes we do get along. I'm talking about family as a whole, but it's all going to be God's good in the end situation. Um, I feel that God taught me a lot of lessons in life, you know, dealing with the kids that weren't mine. You know, I'm not trying to dishonor them, but I'm just telling you what I went through, you know. I had to raise three kids in my mind or whatever, but I love them like that, mom, you know. And God taught me how to not to be selfish and how to help bring up you know, other people. Pray that everybody can see one day see my vision and see what I have in store for Texas and the same.